Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Everybody wants Timmy Jernigan back. But should we do it? Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey everybody, King Dingbat here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom, then... let's get rid of Dak. Uh, at this point, uh, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. Dallas still stinks. You everybody doing King Ding back here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I don't remember what day it is, but I hope you're having a good one, whatever it is, because I keep forgetting. Every day right now is blending into the other. I go to bed at 3 in the morning and wake up at 5.30. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like I said, I have to get the hell away. I have to get to Vegas as soon as possible. You know? And then the one thing that I had to look forward to, that I was looking forward to for, for years, is the, the game Last of Us, right? Game The first Last of Us is my favorite game of all time. Of all time. Okay? And I'm primarily a guy who likes more sports games than anything else. But it's my favorite game. And then now they've leaked all the stuff. I saw what happened. I can't play it. So everything is getting ruined right now. So I don't, I, I don't know. I'm just very frustrated like yesterday. I need to get away. I need to go to Vegas. I need to play craps. I need to play a lot of craps. Shoot a lot of dice. That's what I need to do. Now. One of the things that people have been asking me a lot about this week. Is what would I do with the Timmy Jernigan situation. Because as you guys know, Timmy Jernigan, he, he was going to sign with the Houston Texans, but he's smart. He knows that, that their coach is a moron and a dingbat. So he didn't sign. Don't blame his ass. Don't blame him. But people want him back. People want to know, hey, yo, Philly, hey, dingbat, would you bring Timmy Jernigan back? Would you bring, we should bring him back. Now, I love Timmy Jernigan. I love him, all right? I'm really losing my friggin' mind. I ain't kidding you people when I say it. But I really like Timmy Jernigan. He helped us win a Super Bowl. No question about it. He helped us win a Super Bowl. He was great. All those things that year. However, he did get hurt. He played okay, I guess, maybe later on when he came back from his injury a little bit. But is he worth bringing back? I got to tell you, I don't think so. I don't think I would bring Timmy Jernigan back. You know what I mean? Oh, God. This stupid fan is back on again. It's making me dizzy. I had to do this in my channel membership video. I have to shut this fan off because I'm going to faint. Hold on. I'm sorry about that. That stupid fan keeps getting turned on. I look at the camera. I see the fan going. I get all dizzy and all woozy. I can't take it. So I had to shut it the hell off. Now, what the hell were we talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Timmy Jernigan. Oh, Philly, would you like Timmy Jernigan back? Do you think he should come back? Like, I love Timmy Jernigan. I love what he did in 2017. I love what he did for us. It was a shame he got injured the next year, but I love what he did. But should we get him and bring him back? Look, I got to tell you, our defensive line, especially our interior defensive tackle position, it's stacked, man. It is totally stacked. Think about this. Fletcher Cox, beast. Javon Hargrave, beast. Most underrated signing in free agency, beast. Malik Jackson, beast. No question, Malik Jackson will be starting on other teams. He's a beast. Those are three beasts. Hold on a second. Hey, lady. Make your kids shut up. I'm filming. I'm going to come down any other night. Stupid. I'm filming every time. Stupid kids. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, you got Malik Jackson. That's a beast. It would start on other teams. Those three defensive tackles right there, right? Then you have Raquan Williams, who I love. I think the kid's going to make the team. 
Then you have Hassan Ridgeway, who should make it. You have Anthony Rush. You have so many interior defensive linemen that you don't need Timmy Jernigan. You don't need him. No question about it, in my opinion. That's how I see it, though. I mean, you know, I love what Timmy Jernigan did. But I wouldn't bring him back at this point. I think the Eagles, I think they need to look elsewhere. I still think you need a veteran running back. If you can get a veteran uh, linebacker, I would do that too. Uh, but Timmy Jernigan, no, I like the guy. But I don't think I would go out and bring him back. Now, look, if Timmy Jernigan wants to be cheap and wants to come back for not a lot of money, okay, fine. But I don't think he's going to do it. I mean, I think we're stacked at the defensive tackle. I mean, that's one position I'm ready to go to war right now with. I mean, even, even our defensive ends I feel comfortable with because I think there's going to be so much pressure in the interior of that defensive line that it's going to open up things for guys like Derek Barnett, who, by the way, is the guy that you have to have break out. If he don't break out, we're going to have problems. He has to break out. And and like, and I also said before, if you get in a position at the trade deadline to get Yannick Nagagwe, then do it. But I think Derek Barnett, I think this is the year. I think guys like Josh Sweat, they'll hopefully take the next step. Uh, Avery's another guy I think people are sleeping a lot on. So it's really going to depend. But Timmy Jernigan, very smart for not going to Houston. I don't blame him one bit, one iota, one min minuscule mortar muscle, whatever the hell that is. I don't, I wouldn't have gone there. As soon as they trade DeAndre Hopkins for what they did, I would have been gone. I, would have said, I stayed away from that team. Hell with that team. That's as, as, as volatile as the Dallas Cowboys. That's what I would have done. Hell with that crap. You know what I mean? And the hell with this crap about staying in the house and you can't go get your hair cut. Because I need a damn haircut. And I can't find anywhere to get a damn haircut. I'm getting sick of it. I got to go to Vegas. I got to go gamble. Do something. <sighs> I'm ready for the summer. I'm ready for football. I'm ready for basketball. I'm ready for hockey. I was even ready for golf a couple weeks ago and I hate golf. What the hell are you going to do? This is where we're at. Philly 500 is losing his mind. And with that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.